three. Jacob Falco. And now it's a one point game with 4.6 seconds. McGriff is steal, firing away. Bang! McGriff with 1.3. And now time runs out, and the big of the Bearcats have snatched defeat away from the scoreboard. McGriff. Gonna be good. Out in front, William Cole French leading the way. In second is Matt Cavalieri of Binghamton. Wow, this is a tight, tight final 100 meters here. Meanwhile, your favorite, John Riley, is lost in the pack. He's in the back. He's trying to push here, or someone's trying to push out of this last corner. Yep. Coming up front, it's Cavalieri in the lead. And out of nowhere, Nolan Hickey of Bryant challenging. Wow. And it's Cavalieri wow. of Binghamton with the win. What a finish to that race. Lead is in fourth. And that's shifted a little bit here. Sorry, fourth and fifth. As now in second place, it's Jimmy Dwyer. Here comes Shemit to the wall here. And he just hit in a time of 352-33. That is a new America East record. Henry Shemit has done it again. Defending his title and breaking his own conference record. A time of 352-33. Max Trius of UMBC getting in there with a time of 358.48 for third. Single leg for Nolan. Benino draping over top. Benino gonna have to get his hips free, hook a leg. Come behind and should have been a danger one count. Benino out of danger, but the takedown looking imminent, and there it is. But, Bing, but Binghamton is still out in front with Murphy. Here is the turn. Again, in second, it's Neal. He makes the turn. Can he catch Murphy? This might be a closer finish than what we originally anticipated here. As here they come. Murphy down the straightaway here. Coming to the wall. It's Murphy, makes the touch, 6.30.57 for Binghamton. 6.30.57 absolutely shatters the men's 800 record. Second event of the night and we've got a new America East record. Binghamton breaking it by four seconds.